Hi everybody, and in this video I want to take you through a slightly different type of problem involving uh, rates of change in, in uh, exponential uh, problems. So here we have a situation that says for 500 grams of a radioactive substance with a half-life of 5.2 hours, the amount remaining is given by the formula m of t equals 500 times 0 0.5 to the power of t over 5.2. Now, um, oops, sorry about that. So for that problem, what we have, if we uh, look at it, is we have a formula that's been given to us, and it's our job to use it to, first of all, calculate the amount remaining after one day. Okay, well, that part is fairly straightforward because in a day, there are 24 hours, and this half-life formula has been stated to us in um, hours, okay, so the amount m that will be left after 24 hours, m of 24, shall equal 500 uh, times 0 0.5 to the power of 24 over 5.2. So on our calculator, we'll take our calculator out and we'll take the, the steps will be 24 divided by 5.2 is equal to 4.61, and then we're going to go 0 0.5 to the power of that 4.61, and then we're going to times the result by 500, and what we get is 20.39, or if we prefer uh, round the 9 up, it's 20.4, so equals 20.4 grams. So after uh, 24 hours, we would be left with 20.4 20 grams of the substance. So that's the easy part. Part B is a little more challenging. It says estimate the instantaneous rate of change in mass at day at one day. So when, at the moment where 24 hours have passed, at what rate is the substance decaying? Well, we already have figured out what m of 24 is. So to figure out rate of change, we're going to get a point that is very, very close to that 24-hour point. And what we're going to evaluate is m of 24.001. So in other words, we're going to use an h value of 0 0.001 as an estimate for instantaneous rate of change. And so m of 24.001 is going to equal to 500 times 0 0.5 to the power of 24.001 over 5.2. And here we're going to be very careful that we're going to store stuff on our calculator. So I'm going to take 24.001 and I'm going to divide it by 5.2 and um, I get 4.61557, etc. I'm going to take um, 0 0.5 to the power of that number, 4.61, and I get 0 0.04079182, and then I'm going to times the result by 500, and I get 20.395. All right, so now here's where we want to be very, very careful, because uh, this number, the 20.395, uh, needs to be stored as a full decimal. And not only that, but my previous number, m of 24, must also be stored as a, as a full decimal because up here, I approximated that. But when you're figuring out an instantaneous rate of change that goes to uh, multiple decimal places, it's important that you um, do not round, okay, until the very end when you actually state the answer. So... Um, I am going to store this number, which is equal to approximately, on paper, I'm going to write it as 20.395. That's what it is on paper, but on my calculator, it's a much bigger decimal. So I'm going to hit store, okay? And uh, I, can, I can pull that number up anytime I want, but I'm also going to store the answer to this question as its full decimal as well. So that's why what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to do that question one more time. 24 divided by 5.2, and I'm going to raise 0.5 to the power of that. And then I'm going to times the result by 500. And what I get is 20.39862. And I'm going to store that in another storage compartment of my calculator. And now, 
this brings us to getting to the answer because our answer, our M instantaneous rate of change at the time of 24 hours is going to be equal to, um, okay, now M here, this stands for slope, but M here, capital M, stands for the output value. So it's going to be M of 24.001 minus M of 24 all over 24.001 minus 24. Okay, well, what does that bring us to? Well, that brings us to the following. We get something that is approximately 20.3959. Uh, this is on paper that I'm writing it down as an approximate. Minus, okay, and then 20.39862 all over 0 0.001. Yeah, what does that equal? Well, it equals negative, and I'll say approximately again, negative 2.718. Now, what does that mean? Well, remember, time is in hours. So if we were graphing this, what we'd have is a graph that is its mass as a function of time is decaying as time passes in hours. So what we would say is at the 24-hour mark, our therefore statement would be, therefore, at one day or at 24 hours, The sample is decaying at a rate of 2.718 grams per hour. Okay, that's the rate at which it's decaying at that particular instant in time. That rate you know, will change as time goes by because it's not a constant rate of decay. It's an exponential decay function. Um, so with that being said, it, that will not remain a constant rate. It's not like it's decaying in a straight line, right? It's decaying in a, in a rate that is changing over time. Okay, so, but at the instant of 24 hours, the rate would be the tangent line at that point, And that is um, a decay rate of 2.718 grams per hour. Okay, and remember, we always state a rate as one unit uh, per another unit. So that was an example of a question that involved uh, the use of exponents uh, to figure out a decay rate at a specific point in time. And uh, we also, in another video, talked about using a logarithmic function for a similar type of rate question. Thanks for watching, and um, I hope you found that helpful.